Hello friends, it is a snowy Costco shopping day here in Anchorage, Alaska. Let's get inside and do some shopping. I had things to return, but I rushed out the door to an appointment this morning and totally forgot to bring them. Darn it. This is the first I've seen of Easter stuff. Reese's peanut butter eggs. $11.89 for a bag. Got Jelly Belly Jelly Bean, $17.99. Always fun. Got some spring fruit snacks with a cute little bunny. $13.99 for 80 pouches. And some pre-made Easter baskets. Got kind of fun stuff in there. These are $21.99. And then a Godiva chocolate Easter egg kit. What is this? Oh, it's cookies and then you have chocolates to decorate. And this is $13.99 for 12 cookies. Never seen that Godiva chocolate kit before. Oh, they've got shorts. It's the first shorts I've seen. $15.49. These are men's shorts in blue, gray, khaki. So Costco is trying to tell us that spring is on the way. It is March and we are about two weeks away from spring break here in Alaska, but spring break in Alaska still means cold and snow. We do not expect spring weather until mid-May. Between now and then we still have winter and a month of what we call breakup where everything starts to melt, it gets really dirty, and it can still snow all the way into May. So we are not quite at spring yet but the days are getting longer and we are starting to feel like it will come. Oh, here's their mini book section. Got a bunch of Dr. Seuss books. These are all $7.99. Oh, and then some of these like multiple books in one. Berenstein Bears. It's like a fun marker set. Creativity kit with different types of markers. $29.99. Got some new fun neutral Forerunners. These are two feet wide by seven feet long, $22.99. I like those different neutral colors. Machine washable, that's interesting. Oh, here's these spring mats. I didn't know where they were last time. They have one that has a cute bike on it that says hello there. And then this cute one, welcome to our home, and they're $10.99. Sandwich bags, $14.69. 24 buns, $7.49. $6.99. Never seen this before. They have an organic pizza kit. Makes four pizzas with sauce, pre premium tomato sauce. $10.99 for four, seems like a good deal. $8.99 for some apples. Grab some smaller ones too for the boys to take to school. $5.99. Ooh, that one looks bad. Strawberries, $9.99. $5.99 spinach. $5.99 for two cabbage. And $5.99 for romaine hearts. $6.49 for some celery. $2.99 for bananas or 99 cents a pound. Ooh, I haven't seen these before. Product of Mexico guavas for $6.99. They smell good, they smell tropical. Thought about buying one of these hams and then running it through the meat slicer that we have just on our own because it's $3.39 a pound instead of $5.59 a pound for the regular. It could be a little bit of extra work, but we'll give it a try. See if we like it. Use or freeze by May 12th, 11 19 for this. Haven't seen any samples today. Good thing the sample king is not with us. He would be very disappointed. Never seen these before. Strawberry and banana Cheerios. I'm not sure how the kids would feel about those. $8.39. I'm gonna pass. Go with the regular honey nut for $8.29. $9.49 for 
line for some tater tots. Well, this middle section of Costco sure looks ready for summer and spring. We've got these awesome paddle boards. We love these blow up paddle boards. $399.99. Above ground pool, $829.99. I've yet to see one of those big above ground pools set up here in Alaska, but I'm sure somebody has done it. Big play set. I don't see a price for that. Got lots of beach towels. We bought these ones in Hawaii. <laughs> $10.99. An electronic bike for $499. A blow up kayak, $239. Now this raft right here, you can put a motor on the back of. We have this at our cabin. It has done a great job getting us around the bay at our cabin for about three years. It does have a bite in it from a bear. Um, well, we were at a, not at the cabin one time, a bear bit it, so Mark had to patch it. We may be in the market for a new one of these this summer, but it's a great little boat for $699. We bought this on clearance a few years ago and pull it behind a little boat mark bot. Uh, I think it's $219.99. I never realized before moving here that people actually recreate on the lakes in the summer. We swim, we boat around, we fish. It is a thing. I have a hard time keeping my kids out of the water if it gets above 65 degrees outside. Got some rocking chairs. This is $209. These are made out of recycled plastic. Picnic table, $199.99. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. They've got all their air mattresses, tents, chairs, tables. It has really transformed in here the last week. We got bear spray. This is what people use as bear deterrent. It's $43.99 for two. Bear spray is essentially pepper spray for bears. You can use it if you don't want to carry a gun it does like a 30 foot fog of pepper spray and is proven to really deter bears if they're coming after you. So the problem is you cannot bring this on the airplane. So you gotta buy it when you're here. You probably won't use it. We've had bottles of it for years. Um, and then you have to leave it when you go cause you can't take it on the airplane. They will take it out of your bags, but they have it here at Costco and any other sporting goods stores. If you're coming up and staying at an Airbnb, I would even ask them, do you have any bottles of bear spray? Because we have guests leave them behind all the time. Uh, we have them available if people need them. I'm sure other Airbnb guests get them left behind all the time in the summer. We have this fun little gas fire bowl. It says for camping or the beach or backyard. Got some other fun little fire pits, fire tables. $439.99. More cosmetic. Probably give off a little bit of heat. And then a wine barrel fire pit. $499.99. And these fun solo stoves. $319.99. These help it so that, that you don't get a lot of smoke coming out. I saw this 100 pound tank of propane in Fairbanks. I've never seen it here and now we have it. $154. That is a big propane tank. And they're getting in their potting soil and raised bed soil. Potting mix. This is a fun little raised bed garden. $99.99. $17.99. I've never seen them have five dozen brown eggs before. Free range, $18.79. Still a limit of two on eggs, but they seem to be in good quantity. So, I've been asked if we have Greg's. We have Greg's. <laughs> Thank you. Greg's Ranch Dressing. I know some of you really love Greg's Ranch Dressing. $7.59 for some Go-Gurts. 
pearly swimming suits for $18.99. This one, black one. The back has some fun details. I love this one. I love black and brown together. Super fun. Fun back. It's kind of funny. Swimming suits with down jackets. Really nice down jackets. Marmot down jackets, which is a really good brand. And then they have this fun floral print with a fun back. They have some requests from Bennett for things for lunches and taking to his teacher. He really wanted some Cheez-Its here, $9.59. And then Weston wanted a box too. They also asked for goldfish, $13.39. Now some of these they are gonna go take and donate to their classes. And then some will be used for our lunches. 54 bags for $21.99. It has been several months since I have bought chips. $12.49 for some ketchup. Uh -huh. Sonic beet noodles. Yeah, they come in pouches like this. All right, I'm excited to try it. Just feta on top? Yeah, feta. Yeah. $11.99 for six pouches. Go on my salads or just eat them like this. They're really good. Ooh, they have passion orange guava. Makes me think of Hawaii. $6.99 for two. All of the samples were in the front today. Oh, try so, to be oh, that's sorry. why you try to be good. <laughs> Never tried these before. Apple bar. Tasty. Bennett requested some of these, $10.79. Well, I certainly got plenty of snacks at the end of the trip here. I'm feeling really full. Well, this doesn't happen very often, but I don't feel like I got enough stuff. <laughs> I had some very specific things that I was requested, like the chips and the chewy bars. I'm not feeling like I got enough food, but I just don't know what else to go get. I'm going out of town for spring break and Mark and the older two boys are going to have to fend for themselves for a week. I'm wondering if I need to get them some frozen food just for during the day. $18.79. $11.99 for 12 mini pizzas. $8.99. And $6.49. Do you know what I need today? Now that I'm all the way at the front of the store again. I need paper towels for the Airbnb. Go into the back. Sorry, so sorry. $27.79 for some paper towels. I'm getting my steps in today. Back and forth. Okay, I think we're done now. you last time they said hi Donna hi. <laughs> Where? hello come over and shopping in Costco is the best yes <laughs> oh you're gonna put in uh what are you gonna put again in your in the video in the video yeah Ooh. you're gonna put me in the video I'm hello gonna put you in the video <laughs> <laughs> you can be my thumbnail you yeah. can look for yourself Take care. <laughs> bye Donna I am feeling worn out today and I still have to go put all the groceries away. We're gonna drive home. It's still snowing. It doesn't seem to be accumulating though. We'll get these groceries home. I'll show you the haul and give you the total. Hello Miss Luna. Did you hear me come in? Yeah. 
How are you? Hi. Do you have a good afternoon napping? Luna has the zoomies as I'm coming up and down. She, I, I'm not sure if you've seen her, probably, but she's just doing circles. Really quick before I show you the haul, we got a package from the Netherlands, which is amazing. I think this is our first package from the Netherlands. And it's a goodie box, and it was for Valentine's Day, but it got a little bit delayed. But she says these are traditional goodies where she lives. Thank you, Astrid, for sending this box. So we have some milk chocolate sprinkle hearts, some Tum Tum mix. It's got a lot of different things in it. Excited to try that. We opened these already, but some Stroop waffles. Very yummy. Uh, I don't know what this is, can't pronounce it. They look like little gummy things. Smell maybe a little bit black licorice-y. I don't know, Not maybe not. Some sweet cubic cuties, vegan. They are uh, very lightweight. Some little fun candies. Don't know what these are, they look like medicine, but I'm sure they're little candies. Black with fresh. Not my favorite. Mark and the boys will love them. <laughs> Not what I expected. That's okay. Okay. And some little biscuit type things. Thank you so much, Astrid. This is such a sweet box. I love seeing all the different colors and packaging. Very different than what we have here. Oh, this is like a little gumdrop bag. Lots of little different gumdrops. Sprinkle covered chocolates. What a fun mix. I don't know that I would ever think of gumdrops and chocolates together. Oh, look how cute that gumdrop is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. While we're at it, we also got this jam-packed box from some friends in California. You know who you are, thank you so much for sending it. It has treats for Luna, some things with catnip on them, some fun fishing lures for the boys. It's very appropriate. Oh, Luna's coming, she heard her name. She heard the treat bag. Some fun things for me, like these scrubbers. Never seen anything like this. Some marshmallow spaghetti. The inspector has come to see. Oh, Luna. Oh, see, she can't resist the treats. Oh. Here you go. Here you go. The inspector is happy. Let's finish this box. Some sour chew sticks. Some sweet tart ropes, the kids love these. Sour lollipops. Ooh, a honeycomb chocolate bar. This box is just jam packed, you guys. Our viewers are amazing, they just spoil us. Ooh, this is some ramen noodle stretchy stuff. Ooh, I bet Luna will like that too. Super stretchy. There's a couple in the bag for the kids to play with. Little toy for Luna. Here you go, sweetie. Ooh, combos. I don't know if the boys have ever had these. I'll put them in their lunches. We've got cheddar cheese, baked pretzel, and pizzeria. Enough for all the boys to have. Some catnip mist. We're gonna drive Luna crazy with that. Some pencil erasers. It just keeps going and going. Albany's gummy bears. Nerd clusters. Oh, some of these little treats for Luna. The puree sticks, wow, mamba sticks, some pancake sweet potato, zucchini, carrot, and cinnamon, yum, and paleo, grain-free, gluten-free, just add water, pancake, oop, pancake mix, 
And then, oh, Luna is coming to see it all. We've got some Reese's shell topping you put on ice cream. I've never bought this before. The boys are gonna think that's awesome. We got a churro chocolate bar and a potato chip chocolate bar. Fun. Ooh, some gnocchi. Excited to try that. Another cat toy. This also came in there, another cat toy for Luna. Some magazines from where they live, like a visitor's guide. So that's fun, we could look and see what there is to do in their part of California. That's awesome. Thank you so much for this box. I keep these boxes in my office. I use them when we have family over, I use them uh, for the boys' lunches, or if we have friends over, we'll give everybody a treat. So it's fun to try all these different things that you guys send. Thank you so much. I'm gonna have some good pancakes this week. Let's go do our haul. Luna's like right behind me, trying to get right in on all the action. All right, let's do the haul and get it put away before the boys get home from school. Baby spinach, lettuce, cabbage. I was glad they had cabbage this week and celery. These are just kind of staple items I like to have on hand. Lots of fruit for the boys' lunches and after school snacks. Strawberries, blueberries, grapes, apples, bananas, bigger apples. We typically have these for their lunches because they're smaller for them to eat. And then we'll share these after school. We'll like cut them open and everybody will have a couple slices. Go-gurts. This is the bread I buy for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Just works because it's such a simple bread. Buns for chicken sandwiches and moose burgers. We ran out of ketchup. Did get some ham. We're gonna try and use our slicer and see how that works for sandwiches. It's a bit cheaper. We'll see if we like that. Or I might just decide it's not worth the extra effort. I don't know, we'll see. Now here's where my haul is not like our typical haul. Um, I have a lot going on in my mind right now with things that are gonna be coming up. So I went for a lot less perishable things and a few more things than I normally buy for the freezer. These chicken nuggets are the best. Just Bear brand. Uh, put them in the air fryer for eight to 10 minutes. They're amazing. These are also great in the air fryer. Some Cheerios, some Cheez-Its. Bennett asked me to grab these for a snack. These are also great in the air fryer. They cook up really quick. Um, I can't remember the last time I bought burritos, but sometimes if there's no leftovers for lunch, I think Mark likes to have something like that and I haven't bought them in years. Um, so I grabbed a few. Ziploc sandwich bags. We've been out for a couple of weeks. I decided it was finally time to grab some. And Bennett asked for some chips for lunches. This was the item of the day that I had never tried before. Balsamic beet noodles, really yummy. And then we've got some goldfish. All right. Oh, that was loud, sorry. Let me find my receipt. Oh, and last but not least, we've got paper towels. Today's total was $303.21. If I had not gone back for the paper towels, we would have been under $300, which would have been shocking. Um, not my biggest haul, obviously. We have lots of food in our pantry, in our freezers to get us through. I will actually be buying milk at the grocery store because it's cheaper than at Costco. Most things are not cheaper, but there's a few things that I do pick up at the grocery store here in town. But for the most part, I am a Costco shopper. Thank you so much for coming with me today. We are so grateful for each and every one of you. We love you, we're grateful for you, and we'll see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life. Boy, boys, come show me what you use, what you have. Ah, drinks. No, they call like fake wine, like something wrong. They made up a game with it. They're Ready? having a lot of fun. Go. I, uh, no, you didn't. You touched your mom. Oh, Ever got Westy. No, oh, oh, he missed. These were from my last Costco haul, but we are having the shamrock raviolis because it's March now with favorite marinara from Costco and some moose steaks and some broccoli, but these are both full. We've all been having it as a pre-dinner snack because it got done first. 
That's what's for dinner in this Alaska kitchen. Post Costco haul.